back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, I'm going to explain you about the typography in Bootstrap framework. What is typography? Why do we need it? Why you should consider learning about it? And why you would find it useful when you join a real-time project in any company? Let's get started. This is part 27 of the Bootstrap 5 tutorial series and please do check out the entire playlist because I have covered everything in detail about Bootstrap 5 and this would really help you master, learn and master Bootstrap framework. Following is the index and the playlist that I have created. Please do check it out and you can learn everything from ground zero to be from basics to the most advanced use cases in Bootstrap. Today we are learning about bootstrap typography. So what exactly is bootstrap typography or in general, let's talk about what is typography in any framework. Typography means there are some standard predefined classes that are used to style certain way, certain components. For example, think of it in a real time scenario where you have more than say five or six team members. Who all, are, who all are using Bootstrap framework. Now in that case, everybody cannot go about writing their own style sheets, right? So that's where typography comes into picture. It's a predefined set of classes and styles and code that we can all use and follow the same standard. For example, if you want to add some padding, you can just use P-3 in Bootstrap which means it will add padding to all the sides, which is of three. Similarly, if you want to add a border, you can just write border uh, class. It would add border automatically. If you want background, you can write BG hyphen light, BG hyphen danger, BG hyphen success, etc. Why this is really helpful is if you see it reduces the number of code that we have to write. We don't have to write our own style sheet and that's where this results in less code, it's easy to understand and easy to extend because any new team member who joins our project would be able to easily understand the code just by looking at it. Now this was about the basics. I'm going to show you some but I like al I always say the best way is to start learning with docs, right? So let's go to typography and here you can see all the typography including the headings, styles and everything. All right. So these are the common styles that are provided. So let's go ahead and I will show you a lot of combinations. So I have a empty HTML file that I will work on to show you from basic. Okay. So let's say you have a paragraph tag and I'm going to say, welcome to typography. Welcome to typography and save it. Right. So this is a paragraph tag. It's just a simple paragraph. But what if I want to style it as a heading? So now see, I can just add class equal to h1, h2, h6 like that. So that way a paragraph now becomes a heading, right? This is a basic example. There are so many use cases I'm going to show you now. So let's say similarly you want h2, just put h2, it will become 3, h3 and so on and so forth till h6. This is about the heading tag, right? Now let me show you some more variations of it. What if I want a small text, which we, which we call it as hint text. Let's say that and say, uh, learning all about the typography. And trust me friends, you are expected to know all of this when you join any project, especially which is on bootstrap. So it's important that you learn properly. Okay, so I'm going to say text hint. Right. So now let's see here. Hint. So if you see, okay. Hint. Right. Or let me just take out some customized headings. Uh, text muted and it's not hint. It's text muted. So that would give us the uh, like this. See, it becomes a little grayish color like a sub subtitle link, etc. Right. So this was about text muted earlier versions. It was called text hint. Now it is called text muted. Okay. Now again, display. 
Now if you want some bigger text like an article, you can use display 1, display 2. Now these are commonly used actually uh, because you will follow same. In a page you would have certain structure like see this is bigger. Right? So this is about if you want to display anything in the page like an article or a news headline, you can use display 1. Similarly, you can use up to 6. So you can say display 4, it will be little smaller right? compared to display 1. This was about display. Now similarly, you can style, let's say I want a div. Okay, I'm going to say this is a example of padding. Okay, now see it starts here, but now I'm go I want to add padding. So I can just add padding two. Now see what happens. You see it has become this. Now I want border. So all I'll do is border, add a border. So you can see here there is a light border. I'm saying I want a bigger border, right? So you can easily add border one, border two like that. Okay. And then you can also say, uh, say BG hyphen info that is background color now I'm adding background color to this right or you want warning so just by adding a class you can achieve the complete look and feel without adding your own CSS and that exactly is what is typography so that you don't have to go around writing your own things nobody expects you to write it okay instead we will have to follow the typography OK, now see here, if you want to add small, you can add dot small, mark, text decoration, underline, line through, etc. OK, so if you want to add a block code, you can just call class equal to block code. This is a code and I'm going to say block code once upon once upon a time there was a programming language. Right. So this is a block code which would be displayed here. Again, you can style it. You can club multiple classes like this and I can add some. I can if, if I M stands for margin. So I'm saying add margin to now you see it has come down. I can also add some padding. So these are the common things to expand it. Right. So if you want gap, you can give padding margin. OK, this is padding margin but if you want only one side you can say pa padding hyphen right okay now see what happens I'm just saying add padding only to the right side right so it has added padding to the right only to the right here now if I want left I can say L right and if I want top that you say so you see here padding top if you want it at bottom you'll say PB so it will add at the bottom Right. So you can do this combinations with even margin. You can say margin top is should be four. So it has given gap here in the four. If you want multiple, you can say margin left four. Now here I'm applying only on two sides, margin top and margin left. And similarly, if you want to add, let's say here, let's go to back and see some more examples which is alignment right now this is one of the most common use cases which is centering the text so you can just say text hyphen center so it has become center right so you don't have to go around writing your own css style class and then writing css for it all of that is inbuilt in bootstrap and that is what exactly we call it as typography now let me show you some more examples you can say text end it will go to the end if you want it in the center, you make it center. OK, so it goes to the end. Now, this is one example of multiple things where you cover padding, text formatting, margin, block code, background. You can add border. OK, so this has added border. Now lists. This is yet another important thing, like how you want to style it, like if you want it unstyled in line. Right. If you say inline, everything will come in one line. Let me show you that now. Let's copy this. Just paste it. Let me first show you what happens when you don't have that thing. So it is coming in one line, right? Because it is here in line. So if you remove all of this, or let me just add a simple UL without any styles. 
test list okay so all of this will come as a list but if you wanted them in the same line right then you have to use list in line and it would give you an inline of this elements right especially useful when you are providing some links like say filter etc like this these are really useful when you are writing less code and want to achieve more so see there is a link you can easily give like that right so you have multiple links that you can copy paste here so all of this would come in the single line right or you can the use cases could be like last one hour like show results from last one hour and you can say last three hours last 24 hours right let's say you want to do something like clear history or find results so you can say last one week right so this is how you can provide the inline links to that that is for the list right so there are different things that are there um, similarly we can provide our own custom um, since this is all SAS that means we can customize how we want the font size how we want the block code HR everything we can customize them right so this is the basic typography that you will need when you work in any real-time project and these are the commonly used ones that I've shown you you will have border you will have margin padding a list inline centering the text pushing the text to an end and much more right now let's do a simple example where I want to have a div row and here I have one div I'm calling it a uh, first block right and here I'm calling it second block this is a real-time example I'm showing you now so see it they both will come in two different lines because they both are DIVs okay but my requirement is they both should be in the same line and first block should be on the left second block should be on the right side okay so let's see how to do that so first I'm going to say you can just say display in line right and and here I'm going to copy that and you can say display inline oh we can give it here display inline okay let's get that display property get that inline okay so the values are d hyphen inline so that's the new one that they have added so it would be d inline Okay. so that is little changes from bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 5 so make sure that you get that okay so here you cut this D line and here you give class equal to D in line and here to D in line okay and then I'm going to copy this D block in line so let's copy this and copy the same stylings basically okay so these two are two now in line okay now BG text and you don't want it in a row you want it in one single line so now they both will come in line okay so now but I want the second one to be towards the right side right this one to be on the right side so let's do that so for that you can just say text end and this you'll say here let's just delete this clean up the code the inline so now we can just remove this and it goes to the inline here and instead even better what I can do an example is I can let me add one more and pull it to so I'm going to show you the float with floats okay so I have two DIVs now I want to pull them to left and right so let's check it with the float instead of that so here I'm going to say float 
property and I'm going to push it to float start and float end okay so that way I can pull it to left and I can pull it to right okay so here we see um, so what I'm going to do is just group them together so we don't get confused and here I'm going to say class empty and here I am going to say empty div and group them both and say class equal to row and then finally last I'll close this here and format this code a little bit so that's where so now we can see whenever you use float don't do that so now you see they both are coming in two different lines if I want to add some padding I'm going to add some padding so you see this is the gap or I can say margin from top is 2 and 4 okay so there we go so this is in line now we are having two different things which are responsive one at the start one at the end right so this is all about uh, the uh, typography there are some more variations let's say you want um, font text bold right so let's say you want this to be text muted and text bold you can do that also right I think it's text bold uh, text and here I can say bold so you can see here okay so it is FW bold in bootstrap 5 okay FW bold so now it has become bold right so those are the typography that um, you should be knowing about when you get started with any project right so go take some time go through these uh, typography because that's really really important especially when you start working on real-time projects uh, you are expected to know all of this when you join the project so make sure that you get your basics and fundamentals correct right reach out to me if you have any doubts I'll be more than happy to help you stay tuned for more um, tutorials on bootstrap in the next I'm going to start covering about bootstrap forms uh, very very important uh, you know forms are the integral part of any web application uh, you don't want to miss on that so please do subscribe to my channel please do keep supporting and please do like share and comment on the videos thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode